We're here today with Lainey Wimberly from Brigadoon Show Stables. We're here in Wellington at her farm, but she's based out of North Salem, New York. Lainey, how are you? I'm fine. How are you today? Great, thank you. Uh, thanks for visiting. No problem. My pleasure. Um, I, firstly, how did Brigadoon really come about? What's the history? Well, Brigadoon, um, I started as a young kid at home, having my horses and boarding them at home. Mm -hmm. And I had a, a show hunter named Brigadoon, and I named my business after her. That's an interesting way to start it. Yeah, well, Brigadoon is a uh, fantasy land where everything's perfect. It's an old Irish story or a Scottish story. And, uh, in, and a person lives his life in, the, in, a, in a very short span of time. But in that short span of time, everything's perfect. So I named my business after that. Speaking of that, you've had a lot of accomplishments and you've ridden with a lot of great people to get where you are. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, sure. Um, I started out as a kid and I rode with Ronnie Much and Timmy Keys at Nimrod Farms for eight years. And I kept my horses at home and from, from being at home and having the horses at home, I learned from the ground up every aspect of horses and caring for them and uh, becoming a great horseman. And I rode uh, with Melanie Smith. I worked for her. I showed horses for Norman De La Joyo. I worked with Michael Matz, Rodney Jenkins, dressage riders, Michael Poulin and Lyndon Gray. So I've had a very extensive and knowledgeable background. You also had uh, quite a few famous horses and a lot of major wins in your career. How about that? Well, I uh, have had some famous ponies, Beau Rivage, Junior Hunter, Savannah, Boulevardier. Boulevardier was also inducted into the show Hunter Hall of Fame as the best regular confirmation horse in 2010. Uh, I've had a great jumper named SNL Pilas that Casey Green had extensive accomplishments with. I had a famous horse with Melanie Smith called Madison that was a, uh, went on to win multiple Grand Prix. I worked with him as a young horse. Um, let's see, Nobleman was a horse that I showed as a professional that won the WCHR World Champion Hunter Rider Professional Challenge and the Legacy Cup. Um, the list goes on and on. And I'm, I'm out of breath for you already. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I've been lucky enough to have a lot of great, great horses. You also are lucky enough to have a lot of sponsors, which is not easy to come by in the sport. Um, who are they? Well, I have um, Equine Services LTD, who's my vet, Hayne Stevens, Equine MRI of Palm Beach, Bute, KL Select, which has been a very long-term uh, sponsor for me, Casco Helmets, Pila Performance Eyewear, I have a new sponsor, Animo, and I'm wearing their britches today, wonderful riding clothes from Animo, Oh Agway Agriventures and Neutrina feeds, uh, and then Sean Gross Photography, to name a few. Yeah, that's an <laughs> awful lot of stuff. Yeah, they've been very supportive of me throughout my career, and uh, a lot of the sponsors have been with me a good 10 years. It does make showing a whole lot easier when you know you have the support of those people around you. It sure does, and it, and it makes showing a lot easier when I, I know I have a great team behind me. And uh, I've worked for 25 years to put together a wonderful team of people and grooms and grounds people. Of Jerry Foy, that's we've known each other for 25, 30 years, and he's uh, been with Brigadoon for the past five, six years and really added a great element to the, to the barn and the morale of the barn. Okay. Well, in all the years of your professional life, if you could boil down one piece of advice you could give any rider, what would that be? Not to put you on the spot, but... Well, I think I learned something great from Rodney Jenkins years ago, and that was to not interfere. And that goes for training young horses, don't interfere with their natural way of going, and training adults and teaching them how to ride a great course. There's three basic elements I like to teach them balance straightness and rhythm and if you keep it very simple and you don't interfere but you always make sure that you're balanced you're straight and you ride the rhythm that would be my my one piece of advice don't complicate it that's a, a, a difficult piece of advice to <laughs> adhere to though <laughs> well it's not really if you practice it and you understand the concept of balance and the concept of straightness and the concept of rhythm. And if you, if you have a great trainer and they help you accomplish those three factors, you can conquer any course. Great. Well, Lainey, thanks for visiting with us. Well, thanks so much for having me. I really enjoyed it. Good luck with Brigadoon and all your fabulous riders as well. Thank you. Thank you. We've had a great circuit so far, so knock wood to a great end to the circuit. <laughs> great. Okay. <laughs> for Sidelines TV, I'm Rob Jordan.